Because you talked to the wife of a gangster, I think I remember. You talked to her, you're dead, man. Someone went right up, talked to her. She was a good looker. And, you know, like any other woman, she played right along with me. She says, hi, how you doing? Shook her head. I said, I'm doing all right, baby. Well, I was, and I had about $13 in my wallet. So, uh, some guy came up. Well, they were too big. You know how these Italians look. They're both glaring at me. But, you know, when death is there, death looks like anything. Death can look like a milk bottle or a milk carton or, or a... Death can take any form, but uh, human, the human form doesn't even matter. This guy came down. You know, when a tough guy tries to be tough and you're ready for death, it doesn't matter. He came down and said, hey, buddy. Oh, she went to take a leap. That's what happened. You have to go down this long stairway down. I found out later. I'll be back. I have to go to the ladies' room to powder my... I don't know if she said that. I said, okay, maybe I'll be here. Meanwhile, she said, you know, my favorite song is Her Tears Flowed Like Wine. I kept going to the jukebox. I don't know, it must have been a nickel or a dime. I think it was a nickel. I kept pumping nickels into a damn thing. So all night long, it was Her Tears Flowed Like Wine. And I love it. I like that song myself. It got me all hyped up. So while she was down there, this big moose came up. He said, hey, man. I said, yeah. He said, you know, you know what you're doing? I said, yeah, I don't know what I am. You're messing with the boss's girlfriend. I said, yeah. You know what that means? Uh, I said, you know what that means, man. Just lay off and get your ass out of here now. Said, yeah. That was a nut, you know. So we walked down. They both looked at each other. And she came up and I said, put some more money in the juke, baby. Your tears flowed like wine. Got my arm around her. Your tears flowed like We're going like this. These two guys are looking. The boss is out of town somewhere. And this is a tough Philadelphia joint. Okay. I'm still drinking, so finally I gotta take a piss. So I walk down, I go down the stairway, and I saw finally I hear these two guys. Each step I take, they're kind of in rhythm, you know. I hear these two big guys at the other bar. They're behind me, like you know, like two big shadows. Each time I could take a step, they come. Boom. But you know, I feel no fear, no fear at all. I go down, and they're both standing behind me. And they're waiting, I unzip, and I start pissing. They're both standing, all of a sudden I feel it. I feel this arm raising, I don't even move, I feel it coming down. I stand there, I go, ah! I finish zipping, I piss up, I finish pissing, I zip up, I piss up and I finish zipping up. Okay, either way. So I turn around and they both look at me. And one of them says to the other, that's, I say, oh no, wait. I say, pardon me, gentlemen, I want to get through here. And I start going up the stairway and the other guy says, that's an bitch just crazy, you can't kill him. I went upstairs again. I said, bartender, two more drinks. The jukebox has stopped playing. I went up and put in some more coins. It was my tears flowed like wine. And I, the bartender didn't want to come up. I said, hey, man, I told you I wanted some more to drink for me and the lady. Now, come here. And he very... Hesitantly came out, he finally pulled me, looked at the other two guys. I stayed in there all night. And then finally the night went on. The bar closed, and I noticed this bar was different than the other bars. 
because when the front door closed, all the people stayed inside and I kept pouring drinks, except the lights went out. And so I don't know I'm talking, but I really wasn't interested in her. I was just trying to prove that I was not afraid. And I guess that's a weakness when you try to prove you're not afraid. But I still had the weakness, but I didn't even want to fuck her. She, I don't know, she looked like I wasn't even interested in her. You know, It was just a challenge that somebody else wanted. I was supposed to pretend to want that they were supposed to want. And I think they finally knew that I kept drinking, drinking. And finally, about 3.30 a.m., the bar opened. We all went outside. We're singing songs. We got our arms around each other. The bitch is gone somewhere. I don't even care. And finally, a guy says, hey, Hank, they learned my name. He says, man, we really love you. You got the guts. You're a madman. You're insane. You got the courage. You're beautiful. You know what we want? I said, what? We want you to join our gang. We're the toughest gang in Philadelphia. We want you, man. You've got what we need. I said, shit, I don't fuck with that kind of shit, you guys. I gotta go away. It's nice being with you. Good night, babies. And I just walked off all by myself. I had to well, I should have gone this way, but see, they were all standing here at the circle of whole ground on block and go back to my rooming house room. Mm -hmm. And I know what I did. I was smarter than that. While I was trying to circle this way, a police car came by and I said, hey, I've been blackjack. Somebody tried to take my money because I need medical attention. I was bleeding like mad. They took me to a hospital. And, yeah. So they said, who robbed you? And I said, well, officers, you're not going to believe this. But it was two sailors who jumped me from behind. They tried to take my money, and I fought them. I fought them off. You really mess it? Yeah. I'm sitting there, and they're, they're, everybody's on my side. I said, well, it could be two sailors. And everybody was very sympathetic toward me. But the nurse who was playing with my head, she had beautiful legs, <laughs> and she had them crossed. Now, I, all of a sudden, my drunkenness got across from me, and I went, Oh, you bitch. Oh, and I started playing with her fucking knee. <laughs> and the cops said, Uh-oh, this guy's no fucking good. And they just stood up and they said, Get him out of here. <laughs> and the doctor said, Okay, okay, we'll let him go. We'll get him out. So they pushed me out of there. But I did get my uh, stitches in my head, which are still up here. Yeah, you let them I know, I know. I told you. So that's that's one of those bar stores, right? Oh, God. And that whole gang was sitting in the other bar about three days later, and I said, you hear what ha what helped, what, what happened up at... Uh, well, I'll call it Murphy's. The cops came in. I knocked over some tables. Two guys shot some guns. One guy got killed. They all got locked up. Uh, thank God I didn't join that gang. Because mm. now mm. I'm living here. We have a little garden. Our three trees, <laughs> right? See? I do all the right things, don't I, baby? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Shit.